does a Yorkshireman become good chums with the international scene legend and king of Las Vegas, Frank Sinatra? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me. Nice to have your company. Now, get are you comfortable? Yes. You got a pot of tea or are you going to bed? You're going to bed. So, yeah. Well, look at you. Yes, absolutely. We all just want to lie down, don't we? That's the problem. You fall asleep at the drop of a hat, couldn't you? Do you find yourself sitting in a chair and then waking up and thinking, what happened there? <laughs> You're just closing your eyes. I know, don't you dare close them now. I've got a wonderful story for you. This is all about a Yorkshireman who really became a good chum with the legendary Frank Sinatra. Now, for those people that don't know, Roy Castle was in fact a super multi-talented all-round entertainer, a real genius, quite frankly. I was lucky enough to meet him uh, way back in the 1980s when he popped up in a hotel and he was doing a marathon tap dancing session for his mega hit TV series, The Record Breakers. And I was also very nicely invited to appear on his tribute record, sadly after his demise uh, at Abbey Road Studios for a single called For the Love of Roy. Incredible, absolutely. But Roy was a wonderful person, as I said, originally from Holmfirth in West Yorkshire and just had that warmth around him. Enjoyed a stellar career, could play so many different instruments, uh, could tap dance, sing, act, popped up in carry-on films, literally did everything. But he told me one of his greatest achievements was appearing in Las Vegas. Obviously, it was a pinnacle for an entertainer of his stature. And in the audience were people like Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, Vic Damone, all of those, the greats. But there was one big one. Of course, that's right. Frank Sinatra. Now, apparently, according to Roy, Frank came up to him at the end and said, you're incredibly talented. I'd like to sign you to my record label, Reprise. This was the record label that Frank set up after departing Capitol Records after many years. It was very successful for a short period. According to Roy, he recorded up to three jazz and swing albums. Sadly, they never really made the mark. But the bottom line is now, for dedicated fans, there are stories circulating that the masters could be remastered once again. And as I say, it's a strange thing because both myself and my father and my mum all knew Roy individually. But together, of course, he held this prestigious thing of being able to say that not only had he performed with Frank Sinatra, but being a Yorkshireman, literally being signed to one of the world's greatest singers, record labels. And truly, it's all been forgotten in the annals of time. And as ever on this show, we like to remind people that the greats have gone before us, and more importantly, left their indelible mark. If you haven't checked out Roy Castle, as ever, it's free to have a look on YouTube. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.